untouched for years, exactly as you left it. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mum died too young. Mum with me as a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favourite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled, thinking about giving it to him. I was happy, and I was going home. Hmm, blocks of red. Dad's favorite painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. You've almost got it coming. Here. Let me show you. Like this, see? <laughs> well done, Lara. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different as she lived. I'm glad I still have so much of Mum's work. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man. But I am utterly consumed. 
I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a Croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god Ra, and our days in Egypt where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself thinking about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences, passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. Dad may have discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. The inscription is faded. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it, so we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of de Mornay obligations, free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Richard and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. October 13th, Mum's birthday. Okay, back to the study to open that safe. <laughs> Mum, on her wedding day, she looks so beautiful. There's a date, October something, damn, the number is faded. anniversary was in October. Which day? Oh, I can't believe I don't know this. There's got to be another clue somewhere. My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her.
This is Dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. After everything, I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. Gun, how could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me. Tonight. I will take care of Atlas, and then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. picture was taken in the library. Eighteen twenty additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. For... Dad, what do you keep in there? Nothing too important, Lara. Estate business and such. If it's not important, then why bother putting it in a safe? I should know better than to try and pull one over on you. <laughs> there is something important in here. And it's for you, should you need it someday. Well, let's hope you came through for me, Dad. Okay, found all the clues. Let's see if I can figure this out. I returned home this afternoon to collect... For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. I believe it took this trip to push...
I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, see I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say... For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion, and I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only... Mm, no, that's not it. No, that didn't work. The answer has to be in the clues. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods, and even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. I believe it took this trip. I return. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by...
Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all hand. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six, eight. I remember this. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. A picture with Dad and Anna. I would play... Ch Clues. 